you know, your average citizen doesn't need this test right now. Of all the testing that's happening now and all the testing that happened in South Korea, about 96 to 98 percent of them were negative. Okay, yes, we care about the two or three percent that are positive. Okay, that helps us focus on who's, who needs care. But unless you're symptomatic, unless you have a fever, uh, you really don't need this test right now. Uh, and uh, this test is designed for people who are sick, especially the patients coming into the hospital. Right now, the telemedicine capabilities that we're now um, uh, engaging in across the country are able to help resolve who needs uh, this test and who needs to go in and be tested. Um, so we're, we want to make sure that we maintain cap testing capacity for those who really need it. And those are people who are symptomatic, who fulfill the case definition criteria for, for COVID. And uh, we want to make sure that uh, we have the resources to be able to address the needs of the sick population. The uh, initial applications of the technology we think are going to be primarily focused not in docs offices where personal protective equipment is required for a specimen collection and maybe even running the test, but actually in hospital labs close to the patient. So hospital point of care is the way we refer to that, where the test is run near the emergency room um, or in a hospital core lab or a stat lab where it can be used to make decisions about patient management. Um, patients come in sick. We don't know what they have exactly. The presentations are sometimes nonspecific. Um, even in New York right now, uh, about half the time patients uh, uh, have it and half the time they don't. So based on a rapid result, we know uh, what to do for individual patients in that circumstance, what level of protection they require, what level of isolation they require. And we can make decisions quickly about hospital resources, use of scarce personal protective equipment, and, um, and really know how to deal with the case uh, sitting right in front of us. We think this will be able to identify patients who are uh, potentially infectious uh, to healthcare workers much faster. So they will know uh, when to be extra cautious about patient uh, management. They'll know when to put them into respiratory isolation. They'll know more quickly um, ways to provide protection for themselves and uh, to isolate that patient from others in the vicinity that may not have the infection. So. Overall, it will potentially limit the degree of in-hospital spread of this from patient to patient and also um, advise healthcare workers about who to focus on from a protective equipment standpoint. It's very important because they cannot have patients waiting in a holding area, you know, in a, in a common holding area, for instance, where they may have multiple beds assigned for sick looking patients they can't really afford to wait for 24 hours even. Uh, and uh, multiple days that we're seeing for turnaround time right now for reference lab tests is even more unacceptable in that setting. Um, often what's being done now is they're making uh, empirical decisions about where patients go based on their presentation. And if the numbers get to the point where almost all patients have it, based on uh, a nonspecific presentation, respiratory symptoms, et cetera, uh, then they may not need testing because they know where they have to go. But right now, and um, in many, many parts of the country, it's a mix. It's a mix of people who have it and don't have it. And we have to know quickly uh, where to put them, how to treat them, how to place them in the hospital. Shelter in place, staying at home, binge watching Netflix and Amazon and Hulu. And uh, that's unfortunately what we have to live with right now. Uh, but I do think that um, it's very important to stay socially isolated and to limit the transmission of this to slow down the initial wave of transmission that could occur if we were not uh, doing this in order for diagnostics to catch up 
in order for new therapeutics to catch up uh, and for a, eventually for a vaccine to catch up. 